Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of I Can't Believe I Have to Know This. Today, we're going to look at some uh, spinal slash nervous uh, models. So let's take a peek at this one here. One of my favorites. Look at this thing. All its glory. The weird, awkward brain at the top. It's a slab of meat laying on the table, ready to go. Let's look at some stuff. You need to know five things off this model. Let's start with the enlargements. So the enlargements are areas to where, dare I say, they've been enlarged. Um, and so you can kind of see, here's our cervical enlargement. Okay, and so it's this region here. So it's subtle, but it's there. It is a slightly wider region, and that is because there's more nerves exiting this area. But this is the cervical enlargement. Go down a little bit, we have the lumbar, there we go, lumbar enlargement, right around here. And so this is another area where it's enlarged slightly, and that is for the, the exiting of the nerves for the lower legs, so the lower limbs. Lower legs, as if there's any other kind. Uh, but no, the limbs, the lower limbs. Okay, fun times. Uh, next up we have this. Uh, it, which is the, um, the, the, the conus medullaris. I'm missing the cauda. Uh, oh well. So we have conus medullaris. And it is this piece here. Oops. There we go. Right there. That little rascal. That little comb thing at the end. The conus medullaris is the end of the spinal cord. And then we have the phylum terminal. Now, this is tricky, folks, so stay tuned. Uh, so right at that end of that 14 there, that number, that cone, the conus medullaris, where it ends, there's a long, uh, we'll say phylum, that ends the whole thing. It goes all the way down and kind of following along there. It's, whew, what a journey. This is quite the emotion. Uh, all right, we're kind of, kind of lost a little bit. It's okay, we're going. And then bam, it kind of plants there. And so it helps anchor the spinal cord to the bottom. It looks like the cotta equina has just straight up walked off. So I don't have that here. Uh, but so this area, this is going off, off script a little bit, but this is the cotta equina. So it's the area that's around the phylum terminal. So I can make up a, a thing real quick so we can label it. Everybody can see because I don't want to have something not be labeled. What kind of monster would I be? Son of a... All right, hold on. Let's, let's go over here to this next thing. We'll come back to that. Uh, and so, next up we have this fantastic thing, which is the spinal cord. And the spinal cord, uh, underrated, does a, lot of whole, does a whole lot for us. So we should all be grateful that it's there. Uh, it carries a lot of nerves to the brain and to the body. And then, oh look, the cauda equina has magically appeared. It's like a unicorn magically appears. This is the unicorn tail, the cauda equina. Uh, see that, there we go, cauda equina. And so that little thing is all this. So these are nerve endings, a bunch of nerve endings as they go down for the rest of the body. So the rest of the body. So nope, the spinal cord, funny enough, does not actually extend the entire length of the vertebral column. And so this is kind of the, the end point of that. So cauda equina, all that other stuff. Do not get confused with the phylum terminal. Easy to do, but don't make that mistake. Be better. Anyway, back at this thing. Uh, let's get some weird cookie dough. Check it out. It's cool. Let's look at some structures. Let's start off with the meninges, shall we? Uh, meninges. Now, there's three meninges, and these are these three regions here. Now, you might be wondering, hey, you know what? I wonder if there's names for those things. And, oh, names galore, my friends. Names galore. Uh, so, let's start off with those. Let's start with the outermost layer, the dura. It's durable. The arachnoid mater. Oh no, it's scary. Spiders have to get in everything, don't they? So, the arachnoid mater. Uh, I'm not a big fan of spider fan, but it's named that because of the webbings in between it and the pia mater. So, when I see a spider, it makes me pee. Not really. Uh, but if I was one on my face, I wouldn't be surprised. Because that is terrifying. But this is the pia mater. It's the outermost. It clings to the, uh, the spinal cord. Okay. Now we have nerves, spinal nerves, and so this is this region here. After the these other two structures have merged together, spinal nerves. What are those two structures called? Easy. We have the dorsal root found here, dorsal root, and we have the ventral root on the opposite side. 
named for the dorsal and ventral sides of the spinal column. The dorsal root is unique and it has this dorsal root ganglia out here. The dorsal root ganglia. All right, that was easy. Uh, let's look at some of this other stuff. So we can see different colorations happening here, and this leads us to white versus gray matter. White matter. And so that's the white matter. We can also raise up, work with me here. White matter. White matter. Now it's more of a cream color to me, like a pistachio almond type color, but it's white in real life. Gray matter is more like brown matter in this model, so don't get that confused. Gray matter is this stuff here. Gray matter. Now, as luck has it, substructures exist. So the gray matter has horns. Now, luckily, we don't have to know the names of those horns, just know horns exist, and it's in these different regions. So there's a horn here, a horn there, a horn there. This, there we go. A horn, a horn, a horn. This side too. Horn, horn, horn. All right, uh, now the gray matter does have something else that's kind of special that connects those two halves of the gray matter together. The commissure. Uh, and it goes across here like a bridge and connects them together. So the two halves of the gray matter together. Now this to me kind of reminds me of like, oh, hello, sir. Like it kind of sounds like this very formal way of greeting somebody. And this is a way of connecting two different halves of the gray matter together. So it's like a, a weird way of saying some sort of muddled together mess of hello, sir. So that's what I got. It's there, it's what it exists. Uh, then we have the white columns. Now this is pretty nondescript, but they're littered throughout this area. So there's some, some white columns that exist. Again, you don't know the specific names. Uh, if you, it's like, what, what is this structure? You gave me white matter, I'd, I'd be fine with it. Uh, white columns works too, so either way. Uh, but I think that's it for that one. Oh no, there's not. There's two other important structures. We have the dorsal median sulcus. And this is in the middle here, hence median. It's a shallow ridge or shallow groove, hence sulcus. And it's on the dorsal side, hence dorsal. It's the dorsal median sulcus. I've always been a fan of this thing. I don't know why. I think it's just the three words, the old DMS. I don't know. It sounds cool. You know, by the drop of mixtape, DMS. Uh, and it's on the dorsal root ganglion sign, too. So you can see that. And then on the back side, not to be ignored. This is the powerful ventral median fissure. Look at this sucker. And if you know your terms, fissure is a deep groove. So a Grand Canyon on this side, the VMF. Sounds like an award show. But it's not. So it's the ventral median fissure. On the middle, hence median. Deep cut. Fissure. Ventral side. Ventral. So the VMF. These are also called the anterior or posterior. So this would be the anterior median, median fissure. You can see that described too. And then on this side, you could also see it described as the posterior median sulcus. You can see either one. I prefer dorsal and ventral because anterior and posterior get enough love as it is. Dorsal and ventral, sounds cool. All right, last model over here for this spinal stuff. Uh, this thing, look at this thing. Again, monster. Thing of horror films. That's kind of creepy. Uh, man, so like eyes, right? A big gaping mouth. Oh no, I'm trying to scare you, ghost. And then like that, it's wearing a hat. So a ghost hat thing, man, that's terrifying. Uh, let's move on from that. Let's set this focus on something less scary, like the spinous process. Now we know the spinous process. It's this thing here, the extension. Easy, throw it away. Next up, the vertebral foramen. Now this is a big opening in the vertebrae. We've covered this before, but oh no, where is the big hole? Oh, it's been filled up with stuff because that's how the body works. So this area here is where that foramen was, the big opening. And lo and behold, the spinal cord's inside of it. Hence the purpose of the hole in the first place. That's where that would be. Oh, we're not ready for those yet. Uh, so let's keep it broad. I guess we'll go back to the, uh, let's look at some of the spinal nerves again. Let's do that, shall we? Uh, so again, nerves exist on this. So a nerve, spinal nerve. Ooh, there we go, back in focus. Right here. And over here, nerves. As we know, ventral roots exist. They have ventral and dorsal roots. So a ventral root on the ventral side. So right in here. Kind of a, a thick marker to get in there. Uh, and then we have dorsal roots. Right here on the dorsal side. And look at that big thing there. Oh, is that, could that be? Do my eyes deceive me? Is that the dorsal root ganglion? Yes, Dr. G in the house. Dorsal root ganglion right here. 
Yes. Dr. G. Okay, uh, next up, let's do something fun, shall we? Let's, should we do the gray matter again? No, let's do some modders. Uh, and so, and then coming up with that will be some spaces. Ooh, the space between us. Dura modder, let's zoom in here. Oh yeah, it's getting nice and close. So see this thing there, nine? That is the Dura modder, that entire layer along the outside. Dura modder. Okay. Now, now we're getting somewhere. That whole thing, round number nine there, that's Dura Mater. It's all the way around the sucker. Now next, keep a score at home. You know what's in there. You know, what, you know what's next. You know what's up. The Arachnoid Mater. And that is this innermost layer. Oops, there we go. Come on, camera. Work with me here. All right, Arachnoid Mater. So it's where the, the pencil is pointing to along that back membrane. It's on the other side of the Dura Mater. So they're very close together. Now, the astute observationist in the end watching this would say, hey, you know what, there's a line in between there. What, what is that line? Oh, that line has a name. You know it does. This is A&P. Everything's got ten names. The subdural space. Yes, the subdural space right there. Ooh, biscuits. There we go. Now we're back. Uh, subdural space, that line that goes all the way around. All the way around. In between the dura and arachnoid modem. Now, not to be ignored, is another space that's got dural in it, the epidural space. And the epidural space is back here. So this fatty region of blood vessels is the epidural space. That is the epidural space. It is behind the dura mater. Or in front of it, I guess, depending on perspective. Because you can look at these on the front side, too. So here it is as well. So don't get too caught up with, you know, in front of, behind. It's on the, the outermost layer of the dura mater. All right, next space, the subarachnoid space. And this is the webby part, hence the name arachnoid. Um, why can't we come up with another name besides that? Why can't we call it the webby space, you know? That's less scary. Spiders freak people out. Why, though, they have consideration for those with fears. Uh, but this area in here, this little big ridge. Oops, there we go. Big ridge. Look at that. It's a fun little play area. It's a play pit. It's filled, usually filled with fluid, triple spinal fluid, and this is the subarachnoid space that separates the arachnoid mater and the other final mater. Talked about this before, the pia mater. Uh, pia mater, and that's this area here on the inside. So, if I was ever caught in a situation where I was completely surrounded by spider webs, you can better believe there'd be some pee involved. Uh, I'd be scared. And so, man, man, get goosebumps just thinking about it. Terrifying. All right, let's close this thing out, shall we? Uh, what else we got left? Uh, let's do some of the, the matters here. Um, note, modder and matter is different things. There's two T's versus one T. Boy, that's not confusing. Uh, but here's the white matter again, this nice white cream color to it. Kind of peaceful. Something that'll stain easily if it's on a couch. You know, just spill Coke on it, that stain lasts forever. Gray matter here. This kind of looks like a stained piece of furniture, you know? You get the, the, the cream color it came with out of the factory, then you spill some soda on it, you know, as, as we all do. And you got these nice stains left behind. It's like, hey, look, the stains of face. Ah, oh, it's funny. Then your mom's secretly mad at you the entire time. Uh, anyway, that's the gray matter there. And then if you remember correctly, the gray matter has horns. Grab the bull by the horns. Horns, horn, horn, boom. The gray come ashore. Hello, sir. Uh, greeting each other. All right. And then white columns. Bam, 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 and bam. White columns. Well, I think that's it. Uh, so hopefully that helps. Have fun. We're done.